You just gotta be dumb enough to wanna have no money and live like an animal and play. Playing music is great fun, um, but the business of it is, is a real viper pit. I'm trapped. It's like being married to the mob. Once you're in, you can't get out. It comes down to the love of what you're doing. Love. started in the business, I'd wander into a club in New York City and I'd be like, oh my god, it's CBGB's and whatever band happened to be on stage, I mean, the guy could be just like, you know, blowing bubbles out of his ears or something and I'd be like, that is so cool. Bands tend to come here to try and be seen by record company A&R executives, that's artists and repertoire, people that will actually sign, you know, a band to a record contract. This can be the toughest city. To, to be an up-and-coming band in. In some ways, though, it's also the most available city to break in as well, in terms of it. you've got a lot of people who work in the industry who are making the rounds. Every band wants to play in New York City, and there are tons and tons of bands in New York City. I get, on the average, 50 or 60 new tapes a week. It's really, really hard to get in here. Initially, you know, I just wanted to pose and be the center of attention. Somewhere along the line, I kind of acquired, you know, an actual real love for what I'm doing. I need the vocals up. Once again. What is that? To the God that I feel. We were able to take all the separate sort of subcultures in New York and bring them together gay, straight, uh, you know, just anything you want. You have to put some delay on it though. <laughs> what? Basically, what it comes down to is that. I don't feel like I'm really all that interesting as is. I kind of feel like doing something like this make, makes me interesting and gives me more depth. Two, one, one, one. I become somebody else. I mean, obviously, as we'll see later on. I like to have this like no genital thing, sort of like a cyber Malibu Barbie. It's about songs and show, and psychotic and definitely will rock your fucking face off. I started playing cello when I was 12 and wanted to do that whole classical whatever. It didn't work, and here I am. I started out playing punk rock, just on the two strings. The uh, first two strings, the E and the A string, and that's how I got my name, E and A. I really want to just be in a rock and roll band that plays good shows. to be in a rock band originally. I spent like all my teen years on the streets as, you know, doing all those things you do on the streets. I love making great music. I, you know, the songs are always what's important. If you're working with good people and uh, it's going to reach little plateaus 
chip by chip. It's been a sort of rapid rise. I'm I'm not personally sure why. I I think we're an okay band. I think we all play okay, and I think we have a lot of fun. I think we do some really weird, stupid, sort of campy stuff on stage. You gotta sort of have um, some kind of a vibe, you know, that people wanna hook into. All the actual creative showmen are gone. 